Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. In the last episode, well, we did a lot, but it's not too important, I'd rather talk about what's happened between the episodes. You know that Corona's a thing, and things are stressful, and that if this was a uh, monetized channel, then I would actually get in trouble just for talking about Corona, which is dumb. But more importantly is the fact that I do these for fun. I do this just as an entertaining thing, talk about games that I care about, just, you know, de-stress and all that. And I recently just had to dump over a thousand dollars on new parts for my computer. My computer was completely down for the count. I could not use it to play games or record or edit even. It would get up to nearly 100 degrees Celsius on the processor, which, if you don't know, is uh, around three times what it should be. It would melt my processor. So I was out of the game for a little while. You know, sucked, but it was how it was. It, it is how it is. Was what that was. I don't know. But I'm back. I'm back to recording and editing. Uh, a couple days ago, I got out the newest episode of Rune Factory and started producing more of the Rune of the uh, Dungeon Rump episodes. And now I'm back to recording. Or at least recording these. I've been recording Dongun since I got my computer back up because, you know, multiplayer recording thing. I'm trying to get that taken care of. So I have quite a few items I need to get today. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to get to today, but I have a plan. Um, I want, before we finish the game, to have my equipment finalized. And there is one major piece of equipment that I do not have. Some of the comments has already asked if I would be making it, and you know who you are. Yes, that's what I'm working towards. New, a brand new shiny sword. So, once I'm done with watering, I'll head out and pick up some of the items I need for that. I'm actually gonna grab one of them while I'm here. Okay, so we need one bullhorn for one of the swords. Hopefully this will take us maybe a minute. Then again, I know my luck in these kind of games, and sometimes I get it instantly, sometimes it takes me three years. There we go, bullhorn. I was really hopeful for a moment. I actually got a fairy powder that quickly. Nice. took way too long, but it happened eventually. These guys are a little bit stronger than I thought they were. So if I can get an angered thing here, then I'm set. I'm just missing a couple other items, and I can make the sword tomorrow. If not, then I'm gonna have a bit more trouble. And I don't care about time at this point. I have the ability to cure tiredness, I thought it was just the cold, and because of that, who cares? I'd rather spend the extra four hours rather than saving two. Angered Fang, perfect. There you are. I seriously just got the broken hilt that easily. 
I don't even think I've gotten one of those before. I'll check that just to be certain. Okay, so I'm gonna need two more broken hilts in total. I'm gonna need one of them, of course, for uh, shipping, one of them for the sword I wanna make, and one of them for the final upgrade for the hoe. Oh. Hi, Evil Charm. Another broken hill. I just need one more. Okay, perfect. Easy. <laughs> okay, time to go to bed for the night. <sighs> Here we go. I have the tired status. It's 10 a.m. Okay, we're gonna buy one defender for 20,000. And we're also gonna sell. Uh. This long sword. I was originally gonna craft it into a defender, but I really don't care. This one defender, along with two of these platinum, make the platinum sword. One platinum sword, one angered fang, one wolf fang, one bullhorn. And one broken hill makes the Dragon Slayer. And finally, we take the Dragon Slayer, one magic crystal, one fairy powder, and two of these little crystals, we make the Rune Blade, combination success. We only had a 50 50 shot on that, as it is a level 60, uh, 76 recipe, and our forging was only level 71. But we did it. The Rune Blade. Rune crystals adorn the center of this treasured sword. It has 76 attack, compared to our 47 attack currently. It has a combo of 6 versus a combo of 4. It has a charge level of 2 compared to a charge level of 1. And it has what's called rune power. I don't actually remember what rune power does. I'm actually going to have to check that out real quick. Oh. Rune power. Sometimes when you kill enemies, they drop a rune orb. Rune orbs being those, you know, things we make in the rune factories, we'll just get RP back when we're farming. That would be amazing if true. I've seen, you know, people having no idea what they're talking about on here in the past, so who knows. Do I have any gold is the question. Alright, now here at the forge, or a shiny hoe, the broken hilt, an earth crystal, a platinum, and two gold come together to make the blessed hoe forgery level increased. That actually put us up to level 74 forging. Now, used to plow fields, blessed by the land itself. This hoe is the highest level hoe. We won't really need it, to be honest, but I wanted to get the tool up there. Now, do we have all of our tools at max is the question. Do I have a silk cloth? I don't think so. <sighs> Alright, so I'm in the middle of recording this, and of course, friends always message me whenever I try to record. So, I am going to be an and just uh, post our quick conversation. And I got the rigid horn I came in here for. That was actually really easy. I still need one more for shipping. It was as easy as the first one. Cool. I'm actually done already. Easy. Since I'm in here anyway, I'm just gonna come down here and grab some more RP from the fields. I was about to say that if this takes more than an hour, I'm probably just gonna fast travel and just buy one of these to ship. Because I know they're available at the uh, the Seaside Shack. I don't remember its name right now, but something similar to that. But no, it just dropped instantly. That's another one to mark down. I only needed the one for shipping. I don't think it's used in any recipes. I'll check just to be sure though. 
Okay, is it using a shield, maybe? It's not using a shield, which is wild to me. It is used in a two-handed sword. The Atomic Buster. Well, I will never be making that, but it's good to know that that's what it's used for. So I just needed the one. I'm going to figure out what else to go grab now. I'm getting really lucky today. It should be noted that I actually attempted this recording two days ago, I think it was? It was a day or two ago. And, uh... I got about ten minutes in and just was not feeling it at all, so I just scrapped it. I had already spent ten minutes of just grinding on the fairies and not getting a single drop, and I just wasn't liking my attitude about it, so I was just like, eh, whatever, I'll just scrap it, come back to it in a day or two, you know, just get a bit more energy and stuff, and then M, who, you know, I've mentioned in the past, she's like, so where's the next episode? And I'm like, I'm going to be working on it. She's like, well, do it, because uh, if you if you don't do it, I'm going to be upset. I want to move on. I want to see more of this stuff. And I'm like, fine. So this is where we are. I'm finishing stuff up, having friends be like, yeah, I want to see the stuff, and it feels good. It feels good, man. So this little bugger is the plant core. We fought and got a strong vine before, but for now we just need one more. I don't have one to ship yet. I got it. All right, we're done with that one as well. Got it. All right. I'm going to travel home, and I'm going to ship these now. Rigid Horn. A saw-like horn with a spotted pattern. Turtle shell. A stiff turtle shell. Takes time to process, but useful for making hard items. Strong vine. Surprisingly strong. Can be used to tie things. Broken hilt. The remains of a hilt. Might be useful if repaired. Evil charm. A foreign magical charm. Some charms grant people all sorts of powers. We, I think, have already made this? I think... I'll check that just to be certain, but these four items will complete our shipping list even more. Alright, awesome. Here at the decoration station, we're going to use one silver ore to make a silver ring. Then we're going to use that silver ring, a little crystal, insect skin, and a rigid horn to make the ring shield. The ring shield. This magic ring offers the same defense ability as a shield. Um, it gives 20 defense, which is ridiculous considering our rune shield also gives 20 defense. That means if you're willing to drop, like, I don't know, the hero certificate, then you'll lose out on some strength, you'll gain intelligence, and you'll gain, like, 15 defense out of it. I'm going to be shipping it. Just know that it is a really good item if you want pure defense. Wolf Fang Get. Awesome, that was actually very fast. Angered Fang Get. Cool. Realized I need one more of those for one of the items I need to craft. A skull, which I didn't don't think I needed. I was just killing it for, you know, good luck, I guess. Okay, I need a strong string from you guys. Thank you, I'm done. You guys can live to see another day. <laughs> Alright, so that's really funny that he would give it so easily. Like, thank you. That was so very, very great. <laughs> Alright, fantastic. Ah! I'm locked in! The doors are shut! There's a tie level <laughs> I'm shutting. Yeah. So, Titans can somehow survive a single hit. So, these guys hold the field gloves, the final item we need for one of the items I want to make. Would appreciate if you drop it, please. Nope. Giant claw. Not what I need.
Oh, field gloves, nice. I was about to say that we may not find it tonight. I'm just sitting here eating a popsicle. Oh, I'm locked in the room. Oh, another item dropped. Oh, well, I'm sure it's not important. Could have been a protein, which would have sucked to miss out on. Let's keep going for one more day. I was originally just planning on doing the two episodes... No, not two episodes. The two uh, days back-to-back -back like I normally do. But... It kind of feels good just to keep it all going. I'm getting really lucky today, and if I can get the uh, third day to go as well as the last two have been, then fantastic. I'm assuming the rune power doesn't actually work the way people said online, because I've killed dozens of enemies and haven't hit seen a single rune uh, orb. Runey? No. Rune sphere. No, that's a different. I don't know what they are. I guess they're just called runes. Oh. Wasn't paying attention to the clock. Oops. There we go. I was planning on sleeping, but, you know, kind of forgot to do that. I'm sure it didn't matter too much in the end. So I need two glue. One to ship, and one to make a pair of leather gloves with. Dang it, I was really hopeful. Come on! We ha almost have all the items we need. We only have a small handful of items left to do. Then I just need to finish growing some crops and fishing... ...and, you know, cooking based on those items, and then we're done. One glue? There we go. Two glue. So I kind of forgot Tori's birthday. And I'm not too bent out of shape, to be honest. Tori stands no chance of actually loving us by the end of the game. And that's fine. I'll cover her. I'll figure out how to do that best. Here at the decorations, if we take the field gloves, the giant gloves, and the glue... We will make the leather gloves combination successful. We take the leather gloves, the wolf fang, and the cheap uh, bandage, I think it's called? We make the power gloves. Decoration level increased. If we use one silver ore, we'll make a silver ring. If we combine that silver ring with an angered fang and an amethyst, we will make the critical ring. Here at the decoration, if we use a quality cloth, a red grass, a pretty skin, and a strong string, we will make the fancy hat once again, this time to ship and not to craft into a feather hat or whatever it was. The fancy hat. This dazzling red hat is ventilated for wear in the sun. Defense 8. That's it. Glue. A useful adhesive made by soaking hides in water. Don't know why that took me a moment. Critical ring. Increases critical hit rate. Plus 20% grit. And the power gloves. A pair of stylish leather gloves. A pair of leather gloves. Increase your strength. I don't know why I said stylish. That came out of nowhere. Strength plus 6. Power guard plus 40%. Defense plus 5. I guess I think they're stylish for some reason. Alright, those have all been shipped. Okay. I have two items left to get to make the final item I need to ship that I'm not currently using. Scrap iron obtained. I'm almost done. I don't know what to do now. I'm almost done. This let's play will be done soon. Even tomatoes are done. And the corn's not too far along. Here we go. We need one more devil blood. Even after all that grinding I did before, I didn't take into consideration that there might be some that wasn't a part of the medicine tree. And that is this final item, which I needed to make two of. The cursed ring. This is the last accessory. So this is the last non-food item we'll be making. I believe, unless I've missed something. 
As I plan at the end of the game to just retire all of my currently existing equipment, just take off my accessories and ship those to finish out the uh, the shipping log. Nope, the needle spear. Their weapon rather than their blood, huh? Not gonna work that way. If I wanted to waste my time, I could try to kill them with the needle spear to see if that would drop the blood faster. But I'd rather keep using the rune blade. It is, you know, the final weapon after all. We're done. Here are the decorations. If we take a silver ore, we'll make the silver ring. Now here, if we take that silver ring and combine it with a paragon, we'll make the parasite ring. And if we take that parasite ring, poison powder, skull, scrap iron, fish fossil, and devil blood, we will make the cursed ring. Cursed ring, a sinister looking ring, drains the wearer's power when equipped, minus 30 strength, dex, intelligence, and vitality. A brutal item that has been shipped and is no longer our problem. So guys, we've done it. We've shipped all but two accessories. Those two being the Happy Ring and the Hero Certificate. We will not be shipping either of these until we finish the game. Once we finish the game, I'll retire these two items. We'll be done. For now though, I actually have some items I need to get. I need to start cooking, which is a complete change to how we've been playing this game up until this point, or at least for this season. I'm going to... Okay, the Turbo and the Sea Run Time are the final two. <sighs> turbo can only be caught outside Casimir Ruins, apparently. So there are two fish left to catch. One that's out here, which I cannot get. Not until next spring. And one that's in Greed Cave. It is actually as early on as this second screen. I think it's over here? Yes, it is. And so we fish. Sea Run Taimen. Or Taimen? Uh, however you pronounce it. We have one out of the three we need. Oh. That surprised me. Number two, just one more. Oh, see you run time in. All three done. Here at the frying pan, if we use one of our sea run time in, we make the salted time in. And here at the knife set, if we also use a sea run time in, we'll make the time in sashimi. The Sea Run Taimen, level 8. This rare cousin of the salmon is one of the largest freshwater fish. The Salted Taimen, Salted Sea Taimen, Sea Run Taimen fried in a pan. The tried and true way, fresh is the best. Taimen Sashimi, fresh Sea Run Taimen cut and served raw with soy sauce. Alright, that's, you know, it's not really worth getting to be honest looking at it. Unless it has a really good effect to the food, which, you know... I wish any of these gave the effect list, but it doesn't. I don't think that's really worth going out of the way. It's kind of sad. Because, you know, you can only get them in the final dungeon of the game. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. We're going to be finishing up. We barely have anything left to get, let alone craft and cook. Let alone ship, even. We are about done. The next episode will be the last episode before the finale. Then the finale will take place followed by a few bonus episodes covering everything we couldn't do during the main series and may not be canon, such as marriage and everything else. Those will span 
a good handful of episodes covering all that content, but that's once again something we'll handle next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.